Let's learn about the joxin, the cardiac glycoside, one of the important drugs tested in NCLEX. So number one, why do we give cardiac glycoside? So digoxin is a second line of treatment and we give it to the patients who have irregular heart rate, atrial fibrillation or heart failure. What's the role of digoxin? So I teach my students, hey buddy, beat slowly but efficiently. What does that mean? That digoxin reduces the heart rate but increases the contractility. This means the force, the force with which the heart contract, it increases that force but decreases the heart rate. Very important thing for nurse to know is the therapeutic levels which we maintain 0.5 to 2. If the level goes more than 2 means your patient is going into toxicity. Let me help you learn the sign of toxicity. So remember, bad vision. So B stands for bradycardia, A stands for anorexia, and D stands for diarrhea. So initially, your patient will represent with GI symptoms. And when the toxicity increases, eventually patient can have visual disturbances. They can see halos, right? So all those things you need to teach to the patient so that we can assess the levels on time. Let's review the nursing responsibilities. So number one, you want to teach the patient to take the diet rich in potassium because low potassium can induce digoxin toxicity. So I hope you guys know what are the foods rich in high potassium, bananas, avocados, acorn squash, all those. Number two, it's very important for a nurse to check the apical heart rate. And remember, apical for full one minute. If it is less than 60, more than 100, stop, hold the medication, call the doctor. Last but not the least, I know you guys are so smart. If the patient is going into life-threatening situation, then we can give the antidote. And I hope you guys know DGBIN is the antidote what we give here. That's all for Digoxin. Stay tuned for more videos and follow and subscribe FBNPC.